Hi, we're back to practical 5.2, properties of the elements, looking at properties of metals and non-metals. We're now up to video 4, sample 4. You should be recording this into your books and or onto your computers. But now we're looking at does it sink or float. So let's have a look. We've got this beaker of water here. I'm going to see if these samples sink or float. So we have our sample of sulphur. Let's pop it in. No, straight to the bottom. So we'll leave that there. We've got our aluminium. So this suggests something about its density compared with water. Is it heavier or is it greater or less dense than water? Let's have a look at the aluminium. I mean, the shape does have a bit of an effect, I must admit. There's aluminium foil and that floats on water. So it gives you some idea about the density there of aluminium. I'm going to take that one out. Uh, again, I'm going to leave the carbon till last. We've got some silicon tubing here. Oh, that floats. Okay, so nicely floats there for the pure silicon tubing. We have some tin. Let's have a look. Does it float or sink? And no, that quite quickly sinks with the tin. Let's have a look for the zinc. Float that on the surface. Nope, straight to the bottom as well. Let's have a look at the lead. Try and float that one on. Nope, straight down. I wonder if there's uh, some sort of trend here. The magnesium. Pop it on top. Well, that's interesting. That floats. Not sure if you're getting that there in the camera, but that's floating around the surface in a horizontal, uh, vertical sort of way. So magnesium floating. Iron wire. Carefully place it on top. That's interesting. Well, magnesium eventually went down, but not after a while. Again, that might suggest something about the density. Iron floating for the moment. Let's give it a little poke. No, down it goes once the air comes out of that. So the shape of it as well is having an effect on whether it sinks or floats. But all of all of those uh, went down that are in there. Let's have a look at the carbon. So the things that have floated so far, aluminium, silicon, and magnesium to a lesser extent. Let's have a see if the carbon floats. And yes, that floats quite well. I'll just give that a little poke like I did the others. Oh, and eventually that goes down as well. So most things sinking, aluminium not, silicon not, and carbon and magnesium taking a little while to sink. So that was video four, does it float or sink in the properties of elements practical 5.2.